This is Tony Ellis, Soul Sparker and Clarity Coach, and I'm here to discuss a very serious topic, um, weight loss surgery. So I have had an eating disorder and a poor relationship with food since I was 11 years old, and I am 49 right now. Yes, it is January 30th, 2019, and this year I'll be turning 50. And here I am, over 300 pounds, a diabetic, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and they call that metabolic syndrome. So, with me having metabolic syndrome, I, I needed to stay on medications to prevent myself from having a heart attack or a stroke or other types of complications from these diseases. And it was time to do something drastic. After years of working out, walking, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to... Um, name all the names, and I did, I'll probably have to edit that out. But all of the weight loss programs, I've tried them. I've had mail-in programs, I've had to go and weigh in programs, I've had uh, never done diet pills or OptiFast or any of those types of things, because uh, I was too afraid of what it might do to my heart. However, I have done a lot of drastic things. I am a Christian, so I have uh, fasted and prayed <laughs> and experienced drastic uh, amounts of weight loss. Now, I get from people all the time, oh, girl, you look good. You don't have to lose weight. You look good. You look good. It doesn't matter how good you look. If you're not healthy, you look real sharp in a casket. And I did not want that to be my story, at least not voluntarily. And when you're, you know, digging that grave with that fork and that knife and that spoon and that ice cream cone and everything else that you put in your mouth, you are doing something voluntarily to yourself. You know, it is an addiction. It's an issue I've had for a while. And as you can see, I have officially checked in. This is my wristband. Um, it's a little too bright to see, but you, yeah, uh, yeah, my little diva light is really lighting things up here. But, um, my highest weight was 307 pounds. I am, I was five, seven and a half, but you know, as you age, that spine begins to settle. So I think I'm still around five, seven ish, maybe five, six and three quarters, who knows? But it's just too much weight on my knees, on my back, um, too much weight in my midsection, and it has caused me bodily harm. So no matter how good I look, let's just say that again, girl, you look good. I know, but do I feel good? Am I healthy? Um, am, am I, can I, could I run a marathon if I was trying to get away from somebody? Could I really get away if I was trying to lift my arms to fight? <laughs> yeah, I might be able to, you know, give them a go for their money, but to be a winner, I'm going to have to be thinner. So didn't mean to rhyme. But that's the way it came out. And so I will be documenting my journey. I know a lot of people that have had the procedure, but I didn't find out until I made a public announcement that I was doing it. So there's a lot of people that are doing this, but they're not talking about it. They're doing it in secret. And of course, I have found a lot of videos on YouTube, and I have been able to uh, dial into a bunch of people um, who have publicly uh, talked about what was going on with them on the inside. Um, but I wanted to give my take on it, especially when everyone around you, including my husband, says you look good. And everybody knows that these types of surgeries change the way you look. You know, it's going to thin me out. It's going to slim me down. 
I don't know whether my face is going to sag. I know I'm going to have some saggy skin somewhere. And so when you have people celebrating your unhealthy size because it looks good to them, it is quite the challenge to make a decision for yourself. So because I am the soul sparker and the clarity coach, for those of you who are just tuning in and don't know me, I am the founder of Soul Sparking Worldwide. I create empowerment events for women. I am also an author, a speaker. I used to coach. Um, I don't do that on an individual basis any longer. I now coach the masses uh, um, by being on platforms and, and sharing my experiences. Um, and so you can reach me at TonyTEllis.com. You can also find out more about my empowerment events at Sparked to soar.com and soar stands for show up own up act up so that you begin to rise up and from this initial um acronym i decided i wanted to not just be a soarer but a sore roar and so i said let's work on creating our own sorority so you know what the soar stands for but the roar stands for being resilient optimistic holding yourself and others accountable, and being restored. So can I tell you, I've been working on my sore for a very, 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 very long time, but it's now time to work on my So that's why VSG, that's why bariatric surgery, that is why um, I'm beginning this weight loss journey. And my surgery is tomorrow morning, January 31st, 2019 at 7:30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm looking forward to a, a, a marvelous outcome. And I will be taking you on this journey with me. Hopefully, you know um, my story has yet to be told, because you know we all have very similar experiences. You know, you're not alone if you have uh, been overweight. You're not alone if you've been on metformin. Ooh, that's a beast. You're not alone if you've had to take um, any type of supplement so that you could live, you know? You're ready to do my very first uh, uh, sleep study on Friday. But I, you're not alone, and I needed to stop here and have this conversation with you and tell you that not only are you not alone, but I'm gonna share with you the intimate details of this journey. So my highest weight was 307 pounds, uh, pre-surgery, or weight or pre um, 10 day diet in preparation for the surgery was 305 pounds. Um, since then, in these 10 days, my weight now is 290 pounds as of yesterday. So I'll probably get on that scale this evening uh, before I go to the hospital tomorrow, but I'm gonna go by the hospital weight because you know, at home you kind of get butt naked and you weigh yourself and there they weigh you fully clothed sometimes with your shoes on and you know that doesn't account for much maybe two to three pounds but it's enough for me to want to know the accuracy of how much weight i have lost after this video is past meaning history meaning us looking back at where i began so honey here come that pretty girl that pretty thick girl who's about to get um healthy and so we have to say bye-bye thickness so that that can happen. Until next time, again, I'm Tony Ellis, Soul Sparker and Clarity Coach. Peace and many blessings. Hang on in there with me. Bye-bye. I see you. Yeah, you're the best. I see you. Yeah, you're a fighter. I see you. You've got a friend. Yeah, you're a winner.